Georgia, getting ready to do the Georgia Jewel 100 miler. Me and Kyle down there getting ready. Diana, our awesome crew over here, getting ready to do this. We'll take a lot of awesome video along the way. I lived there, you know, in the 90s. The park was never crowded. I'd rather be going up it at the end than down this. Woo. All right, after our first little baby climb, we hit a nice little runnable section here. Really not too bad. First little road climb section here, getting out of the rollers. Right, we just hit the end of the road climb here. Wanna hit some trail with a limbo stick on the way. So we just passed first aid station. Now we're making our kind of final push up here to uh, radio towers and what'll be the entrance to the rock garden this is where we really kind of see the ridge i'm not going to go over there but hopefully from this view you can kind of see out there it's pretty if you got the time to enjoy it oh yeah keep it going all right making our way to the rock garden we're about four and a half, well, exactly about four and a half miles in right now. Feeling good. Here we are working our way up. Just hit the S section along the ridges. About 7.3 miles my watch says in. Means we're out the rock garden. We gotta work our way up this ridge. Then we'll start the down. Head to that fire road. Nice little runnable section. So, four miles of the next aid station, we'll check in. All right, we just hit mile 10. Um, that means we know where we're at now. We've done this trail in training. So we're kind of working our way on the S, on a kind of a downward, downward rollers to the next aid station, which is supposed to be 11 something. But honestly, based on where we're at, I think it's gonna be closer on my watch. Two. It's supposed to be over 11, probably a little under 11. All right, we just passed the late station at mile. I got out at 11.9. So when you pop out on the fire road, it's not at the top. It's actually down where the fire road turns into the more rugged fire road. So you'll make a right and actually head down a bit of a ways before you hit the aid station. Probably about a half a mile or so. Uh, now we got a bit of a rough and rocky fire road ahead of us. Yeah, 
here is the rock pile. It means you're at the top and about to start our descent. So we got about a little over a mile descent coming up here. We're about to do some flow. Start pushing a little bit, get in here, making up a good time. Just keep going. All right, we just hopped in. Diana's got us all set up here. Woo! Snake Creek, 18 miles in, keeping it going. It's on. There we go. Woo! All right, check it out. Snake Creek. Pick this up and then we hit the road. Heading out of, I don't know the name of the A station, but it's an A station mile 25 something. Yeah. So now we are heading up John Mountain. Got an A station about three miles, three and a half miles in. Then you peak and then down the other side. So some trail climbing I've never seen. It's also second biggest climb of the uh the race so the biggest climb will be coming back over it but right now we're just slow and steady chop it up cool section here so coming up John's mountain it is rocky and technical you see this cave behind me there's rock garden in front how is this not called the rock garden <laughs> Oh, yeah, sir. Wagging our tail. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all for being out here. Thank you. Might as well see it real quick. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you all. I hope this light isn't blinding y'all, but I need to see. It's probably gonna be tuning out here for a bit until we get to the main aid station at Dry Creek. We're starting to hit nighttime. So, yeah, yeah, keep it going. 29 miles in. All right, getting to leave 
Dry Creek for the last time, so it's a long trip home. Woo! Good morning, everyone. It is about to be eight o'clock. We are just making our way up John's Mountain. Once you hit off the fire road on this trail section, I mean, it go. It just feels like it goes forever. <laughs> to be honest, I feel like we've we've just been dodged spiders everywhere it's no fun so we're really looking forward to getting to the fire road that'll take us to the top and the aid station top of john's mountain so i hit the aid station here look at this view over here we're back All right, let's get some fuel. <laughs> Rock and roll. All right, all right. Thank you all for being here. Seriously, you have no idea. Make sure it sound right, boys. Here we are at Snake Creek. Just got loaded. We had a major downpour on us. So my camera for some reason stopped working. So that's why there's no video of last little bit. But we decided to switch to packs to make sure we got our jackets, lube, tons of food. We had an 18 mile push. And we're just gonna take it one step at a time. It's slow going right now, but we're still moving. So let's get her done. It sound right, boys. As you can see, we're back in the rain. I think I mentioned my camera. I don't know why it wasn't working earlier. Maybe because it was raining so much. But we're back in it. Fortunately, not pouring as bad as it was, but it's still coming down pretty hard. So we're uh, two and a half outside of Stouffer's. We're heading down to the creek crossing. We got a nice little about mile, mile and a half climb. So we're moving. Building. Lovely. We are just leaving the Stover Creek aid station. That gives us an 8.5 mile to the last aid station. So, power line. So, we got a big section here. But once we get the power lines, we are 3.1 miles from the finish. So, this is one of those just get her done, keep moving, power through it. Still raining. But, shit, I guess we're used to it by now. So it working our way right through this 8.5 section with no aid. And I gotta tell you, of course, great crew, great support, but man, talk about monotonous. You feel like you've been running the same 150 feet of trail for three plus hours. <sighs> I hope we get there soon, but it looks like we got a lot farther to go. <sighs> I have never been so happy to see dirt a gravel road in my life. Holy crap. All right, we just left the final aid station. Now we're hitting the power lines. Ooh, a little over three miles from here. It's three miles down and then a brutal little quarter mile uphill. Oh man, way to get in these trees, this wind's cold. We're in the woods, 
in the last section before we hit the road. I got my headlamp on because it's about to get dark, so you may not see much. I'll try to get some footage of the finish. So, but, hell, me and Kyle are finishing. That's all that matters. Close. Right here where the trail meets the road. Give me Kyle just a little bit of a head start. Now I'm about to catch up with them. But by now, let's go do it. Killing it, Kyle. Killing it. All right, we are on the final road section, heading to Mountain Baker. These were really close. Kyle and I are both just excited to see Mountain Baker because while it's steep, it really is the end of the race. So you get up that, not too far from there's the finish line, and. Buckle glory, the Georgia Jewel. So stay tuned. Kyle and I, we start the race together. We finish the race together. Go, guys, go, yeah! Finish line central. Woo, Kyle and I. Good job, Good job, Running it in. Woo! Welcome back, riders. Congratulations. Woo! 100 mile finishers. Two 100 mile finishers. Woo! Nice, nice work. work. Thank you, man. Congratulations. Big Thank day. you. Yeah. Woo! Okay, another finisher coming in strong. Woo! Buckles over here for you. Want to oh. take some pictures? Hey, hey, congratulations on the finish. 50 mile. Welcome back. Yeah, we'd love a picture together.